Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. And in this video presentation, I'm going to go over how to take a list of stocks from outside of the tools and import it into the tools. We had a student just email in asking how he can take the 600 stocks on his watch list and create a list into the tools so that he can run his options analysis and custom scans and searches on it. Well, here's an example as to how to get something like that done. What I'm going to do is pop over to the internet I'm going to bring up sectorspider.com and go to that website. This is the uh, S&P 500 ETF site, and it shows you the handful of them that are available to you to get your detailed analysis on. I'm going to select, just for the sake of an example here, the Consumer Discretionary ETF, the XLY. When you click on that, it's going to go to another page with more details for the specific XLY uh, ETF. And I want you to click on the Holdings tab. When you click on Holdings, it's going to bring up all the stocks that comprise this ETF. Now, go ahead and click either the .csv file or the .xls file. Either one is going to work. Basically, what you want to do is just get the spreadsheet up so that after you click Enable Editing, you have the list here. I want you to go to the bottom of the list and just on the row with the ticker symbol, left-click and drag your cursor up all the way to the top just getting all of the symbols. You don't have to get anything else besides just the symbols here. On any other site that you're bringing up a list of stocks, you can just left click and drag your cursor over to highlight all the stock symbols and stock names. Let's right click, uh, left click on copy, and let's get back to Tom's tools. We're going to hover our cursor over the website tab. Hover your cursor over the lists line item, and then on the line item for edit list, left click that and it will bring up the edit list page. Once this refreshes, you'll notice that the selected stock list over in the controls box is available to you. Left click on that drop down arrow and find a list that doesn't already have a name, or you can just go ahead and overwrite a list that does have one and have stock symbols in there already. But generally the ones that aren't used are the ones that say list and a number. And just for the sake of example, let's go list 12, left click on that, and you'll notice that there's nothing in the boxes here. So let's go ahead and right click into the box and then left click paste. That puts all the symbols in there. Now before we save this, let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it Consumer Discretionary uh, XLY. And I'm going to then click on the Save button. Once we've saved over here, it will then put all the symbols in the box. It will give you the stock names in the box underneath that. That is saved. From here, you can go ahead and do your searches on this list to your heart's content. If you want to go ahead and create a new list, just repeat the process. Go back to whatever website you are using. Left click and drag your cursor over all the tickers and the names of the stocks that you want. Come back to the edit list page. Select a new list number. And when that is blank, just right click and the box, left click to paste the tickers in there, name it, save it, rinse and repeat. So there you go folks, that's how you take a list from outside of the tools and import it into the tools and create it by saving the name for it and you can scan from there. Hope you've enjoyed that, we'll talk to you soon. Until next time folks.